You have to ask yourself, then you, know, you need to decide, independent of your friends, independent of your families, that this is something that I want to do. There's an interesting question, and you know we've gotten this question quite often, obviously. What do I tell my friends? Okay, I met someone I really like, or I'm gonna do this, but some of my friends are against the idea, and I want them to be on board with me, obviously, so what do I tell them to make them feel comfortable, all right? And you know, and I went through the same thing when we started this. Um, you know, my friends and family were telling me, no, you shouldn't do this, oh my gosh, what could happen? Look at all the things that can happen. You know, you're gonna go to Russia, you can come back as a brainwashed communist. <laughs> I mean, just the silliest things. And if I were to listen to all those silly things, then I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have met Tanya. Um, we wouldn't have the two wonderful children that we have today. Um, and I wouldn't have had the opportunity to help the thousands of individuals that I have helped. If I were to listen to the people who were telling me that I was crazy for, you know, going outside of the box or doing something different. Now it's getting more and more common. I mean, come on, guys. I take my chance to ride upon a star. Do whatever it takes to be where you are. People are dating like crazy now on the internet. More marriages take place on the internet, I think, than in any other vehicle. So, you know, for someone to be, you know, against this, uh, you know, there's gotta be something else going on there. Um, you know, you have to, ask yourself first of all you know is this something i really want to do and if it is then you know you need to decide independent of your friends independent of your families that this is something that i want to do you need to do your research you need to make sure you're comfortable you know first with the company you're going with with the whole concept all of that but once you've made that decision then you need to do it because if you allow other people to constantly influence you then you're never going to get anywhere um but what I would do is, you know, I would talk to them because you know, I understand that you want them to be on your side. I would show them all the facts. And if you go to our website, we have um, lots of information there, lots of facts about why this works, what really happens here, how the divorce rate is much less with intercultural couples than non-intercultural couples, um, how the spousal abuse rate is much less with intercultural couples than non-intercultural couples. I mean, a lot of the rumors that your friends and family are, or a lot of the information that your friends and family are going on is just misinformation and rumors. And once you start educating them on what really takes place with this, they start to see the light and like, oh wow, well maybe that isn't a bad idea. Now there's always gonna be some that are just worried that, oh my gosh, if you go over there and are successful, you're gonna leave me behind and I don't want you to do that. So they're always gonna try and talk you out of it. Um, that's just human nature, but you gotta get beyond that, okay? Um, and other than that, I'll, you know, the other thing I can advise you is to take a piece of paper and write the pros and the cons, okay? So the pros of taking advantage of a, a, of a great opportunity such as international introductions, and then the cons of doing so. And I'll tell you, if you look at your list there, there's not gonna be a whole lot of cons. If nothing else, it will be the best vacation you've ever had. And the cost of that vacation is less than the cost of a comparable vacation that does not include, you know, meeting hundreds and hundreds of women while you're there. All it includes is actually the airfare, the hotel, going on a few sightseeing trips and that's it. So if you compare the two costs, they're the same. So you have nothing to lose financially. You'll have a wonderful vacation. You'll enjoy it much more than going with any other type of vacation where you're with a group of, you know, blue haired old ladies um, or with us, where you're with a group of like minded men who are there for, you know, the same purpose as you are, is trying to find that one special person with whom you can share the rest of your life. And you're meeting all these different women. So when you're putting down the pros and cons, um, there's so many pros and there's so few cons. And even the cons that you do come up with, if you call and you talk to us, I'm sure that we can talk about those and give you resources to, to uh, research that will show that those cons probably really don't even exist. So I'll tell you, you know, if you look at it and you talk to your friends and your family logically and explain what you're doing and why you're doing what you really are doing, not what they think you're doing, but what's really gonna take place and if you try to educate them a little bit on, you know, how this has really worked and what these, you know, the couples really experience, 
then, then I think they will get on board. And I think that they will be supportive of you um, in your endeavor. Because if they're not, then are they really, you know, a good friend, you know, or a really good family member? I'll tell you, when I first started this, like I said, my friends and family uh, were against it. But when I kept going and decided this is what I really want to do, and I started getting as much information as possible, uh, they started turning around and started becoming supportive. And then when Tanya came over, they were enormously supportive and always have been, even to this day. Searching for that one special woman to complete your life? Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. AcapulcaWomen.com